Friends, as you are aware, whenever VLOOKUP or XLOOKUP fails to find value, it returns Excel cell error called hash array. That means not found. Now the issue is that we cannot perform any mathematical calculation based on this error cell. Let's say you want to multiply it. So you cannot multiply an error with any value. So you would get again error in return. So let's say we have a scenario where instead of error, we want zero to be displayed. How to do this? Go to my screen. Let me walk you through the example first. Okay, so as you can see, uh, I have product master. So basically, uh, it is a mobile dealer's data and he has a standard rate selling. Okay, and he also does some uh, bulk dealing let's say on festival seasons okay now so coming to the bulk sheet so let's say there is a bulk order he will have to give discount okay and this is the bulk daily sale you can say okay so uh, now you want to find standard rate versus actual rate so it is an uh, you can say it average rate for that specific day so I had applied B lookup formula to pull up this value. Okay, now issue is that uh, it is not necessary that uh, you would be selling each and every model you have every day. Okay, let's say iPhone 13 Pro or Oppo Reno 8 was not sold for that day. So B lookup was unable to find any value for that. Now issue is that I want zero to be written here because i would be multiplying this with the quantity okay now how to do this using vlookup so we would be required to nest this vlookup inside a function called if error okay like this if error okay so if this vlookup returns any error comma the default or fallback value should be zero okay i will write and let's extend this formula until last okay like this zero so it is a comma formatting so you would see dash instead of zero okay so i will undo it now let's say you want to do this using an x lookup because see this is a nesting so our formula is becoming complex how to do this using x lookup so let me revert back this Okay, so first let us formulate x lookup. So as we are aware, is equal to x lookup bracket open. So lookup value is the product. I'll select this comma. Now first source column. So models are located in column number A. Okay, I will select this comma destination or return value column. So I want actual price for that day in C column bracket close okay this is a normal x look again it would also return hash and error not fall okay but let me show you x lookup has one more parameter so if i edit this and erase this okay comma if not found that means if x lookup is unable to find that value what should it display so in this situation i want zero to be written here Okay, so I would write zero bracket close. Okay, let us extend this X lookup. So I would just control D and this function would be copied. Okay. So can you see in X lookup we even didn't require nesting inside the if error. Okay. Simply one parameter was introduced, not found, and so our X lookup is a bit more simple then we look up in this scenario lastly please try this so if you like this technique please do like video and subscribe to the channel